Not a long time ago, I created a video about the 7 best FPV simulators that you can run on Mac. I mean, to be honest, an FPV simulator is actually a game. So, most games will run well on gaming computers, and Macs are not those. So, I'm gonna spoil this a bit, but on that video, I classify as Uncrashed FPV being one of the most optimized, if not the most optimized, FPV simulator you can have on Mac. And Yes, I'm recording this through my phone, so I'm not consuming any resources on my computer trying to record the screen. So let's see how this works on different resolution, different detail settings and so on. The first thing you need to know is that different maps require different resources. As for example, the FPV Drone Fest is one of the very little resource hunger, while the Meadows is one of the very high resource hunger. So don't expect if on one map the game is gonna work well, to work on all the others. You're gonna have to find your favorite maps based on your computer performance, on your map performance. And yeah, by the way, this is a MacBook Air M2 with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes hard drive. So it is the basic edition. Okay, in the meantime, what are my graphics at this time? I have the full screen resolution 1920 per 1200 and at a 70% resolution scale. All the details are on medium. It absolutely works smoothly, so smooth at 60 FPS without any kind of issues, no lags, no nothing. And one more thing you need to know about the MacBook Air M2 is that it has a passive cooling. So what that means, when uh, it doesn't have any fans to cool down when it's getting hot, instead it's uh, throttling down the performance in order to maintain the temperature under control, which will mean after a while the performance should be worse. Now let's see how this is gonna run. So at this resolution, 1920 with 70% um, scale resolution is working perfectly fine on this map. Absolutely no issue, everything is 60 FPS as my resolution screen is locked with the V-Sync on. One Amazing experience, I can say, even with uh, older MacBooks, this map should work really well. Okay, in the meantime, let's change the map and see how it works on others. I'm gonna choose Sanatorium, which is a medium sized map which requires medium sized resources. At the beginning, as you can see, we do have a little bit, did have at least, a little bit of uh, frame drops, but still being fine and complain about it. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, let's change the map to one of the higher maps, like the middle. The middle is one of the newest maps, and sometimes I'm feeling it's really not optimized for max. I mean, for anything. I always have frame drops on this one, but I just want to give you an example as the worst frame drops you can have uh, with this kind of computer laptop. Well, actually it's not that bad, but yes, we do have some, uh, not frame drops, but under 60 FPS. Now it's stable at 60. And remember that the resolution is quite low. 45 FPS and some frame drops. Okay. Now let's get back to the first map and try to increase the resolution. Okay, the drone fest. Okay, so let's put the 2048 at 1332 on 90% resolution scale. Yep, I hope it's right. Everything else is similar as before. Let's see how it works now. Oh, in the meantime, I am going to check the temperature. Okay, the laptop is getting quite warm. It's 41.3 degrees Celsius or 106 Fahrenheit. So by now we should have uh, a little bit of throttling down. Okay. With this higher resolution on this map, still everything seems so smooth, stable at 60 FPS. Yeah, I know, this is kind of one of my favorite maps because it's so... the game works so well on this MacBook so I can train anywhere and anytime without any frame drops, basically. 
and I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't need the kind of highest resolution and details. If you want those, yeah, just focus on running it on a gaming computer with a dedicated video card. MacBooks are not gaming computers, so by the fact that this is working so well, this is a shock. I'm gonna be really honest with you, this is a shock. Okay, let's change the map. Okay, I'm gonna put the... Let's go with the grassland. A bit of frame drop, but the frame rate is stable. Ooh, okay, wait. I don't know what I'm doing here. Actually, I know, but... Okay. Looks fine on this one. Let's challenge this a bit up with maybe racetrack. That's a high resource hunger map. Okay, we already start to have some frame drops. Which made me crash the drone. No big loose. Okay, the continuous frame per second. It's under 60, so it's not anymore as, as smooth as the other ones. But still, it's very playable and you can practice really well on it, even at this high resolution. Okay, so let's increase this up a notch. And first thing, let's change them up into Drone Fest. But I'm going to put graphics on Epic. Okay, Epic graphics. We already start to having like uh, a lower continuous frame rate, which doesn't make the game that smooth to be anymore. But still, this is with the basic M2 MacBook Air with 8GB of RAM. So if you have anything about 16GB or M2 Pro or Max or anything even better than this one, which this is the very basic one, you should run it just fine. So... Okay, let's just put the details back to medium and let's increase the resolution to its maximum. The laptop can support on the same resolution scale. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, once we drop down the details, but even if we put the highest resolution, the game is much more enjoyable, smoother. Sometimes we have a little bit of frame drops, but most of the time it seems to be stable. If I was doing this in liftoff or any other simulators, I couldn't play. No, I would be having like 15 frames per second and so on. But let's um, punch this notch a bit and let's go for a higher resource map. Okay, keep in mind this, is, this map requires quite a lot of resources to run and I'm just running on 2.7k or something like that. I don't even know exactly the resolution I think it was. Okay, we have around 40 FPS continuously. We had, I think, a minimum 30, a little bit below. I'm not sure about that. Maybe you know to read the graphic even better than me. I'm just gonna display it there on the screen. I hope you'll be able to understand it. But even to put this into perspective, still very playable. As a challenge, let's put everything to maximum. Okay, that's an epic. Right, hold on. We are having around 35 frames per second. But before that, let me just try. Okay, the temperature is definitely a bit more up. Yeah, it's around 42.4 degrees Celsius and 108.3 Fahrenheit. Definitely the game is not as playable as before. However, let's go back one last time to maybe one of the larger maps which still doesn't require so many resources to run. Uh, well, this map is not that large, but let's just skip to this map and let's reset everything as it was before. Medium details. I think there was 70% resolution scale and 1920 per 1200. This is after the laptop uh, CPU power throttle down to keep the temperature under control. It's still working really well. I mean, no frame drops, stable at 60 FPS. And yes, I can say, 
that you can definitely practice very well in Uncrashed FPV if you have a MacBook Air with the M2 CPU. If you have with the M1 CPU and things like that, it's gonna be very minimal decrease of performance. If you have an Intel Mac, uh, that's gonna be probably a problem. I didn't try with Uncrashed, but uh, I'm not expecting the, that to run well. On the other side, for that, if you have an Intel MacBook, that will work better with drone with it, because Velocity drone is more optimized for older computers, including Intel-based CPUs. Okay, this looks very stable for me. I can practice at will in Uncrashed FPV without any kind of issues. So, what do you think? Are you interested about this type of content? I do have quite a lot of simulators uh, I should be able to cover from the performance wise, drone dynamics and physics, how good they are, one by one in depth, not only reviews but uh, basically cover as much as possible including running them on Mac computers. So if you're really interested about seeing any more FB simulators running on Mac computers, please let me know by writing a comment in the description below and I can say thank you very much for watching. I do really appreciate it if you give me a quick subscribe and a thumbs up so you can help me with the algorithm and create more content for you for free. Alright, this looks lovely. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you around. FPV Craft out. Oh no, crashed.